Here we'll be doing brake pads on a 91 Volvo 740 Turbo. First things first, jack up the car. And you want to take off all five wheel lug nuts, 90 millimeter. This model of 740 comes with dual piston calipers. It has the older style rotors. And you want to make sure whenever you get the pads that you get the correct pads. These are Bendix calipers. So they have the dual lines here. And they have two pins on each of the pads with these style springs. So the bolt at the bottom is a 12 millimeter. You want to remove it just like that. Let me go ahead and get this off really quick. There we go. Yeah, should lift right up just like that. And you see the springs are in there, the pads are exposed. They just come right out. Once you get that bottom bolt off and you have this loose, all this has to do is slide out like that and the caliper is completely off the assembly. I would recommend greasing this slide pin when this is off so that you don't have any binding whenever you put the new pads on. Oh, that's my AC right there. Next thing you want to do, you want to take a spare brake pad, preferably an old one, and your C-clamp and you want to compress the whole assembly so that both the pistons are squeezed in. You can do this without a C-clamp, it's a little bit harder, but you can do it by hand. The pads slide right in, no problem. Then you want to grease this slide pin here. So that's done. The piston should slide back on, hopefully without dropping a pad. Okay. Like that. Try and do things one handed. Yeah, this is not as easy to do one handed. Oh, one, one. Nope. I got it, I got it. You got it? Yeah. Alright. Keep holding on to my hands. And then you're good to go. So go ahead and install the 12 millimeter bolt back in. Make sure to tighten it to where it's good and tight. Usually what I like to do is get it to where it's tight like this and then tap on it a few times. That usually torques it enough to where it won't come out.